The material scientists have got further and further away from designers, makers, architects. And you see that in the built environment, you see it in the objects around you. The crafted object that has human qualities, but also has that beautiful 21st century technology in it, those things are not being made. So you have the kind of beautiful jewellery and beautiful design, which are mostly inanimate stuff, has lovely aesthetic qualities and is made by traditional methods. And then you have high tech stuff like smartphones and laptops and, and there's a massive gap in the middle. In this project, we're trying to bridge a gap between the way designers work and the way material scientists are working and thinking. The main objective is to make an investigation and also a collaboration between designers and material scientists. So this method of working together is what I see as the most important and unique about the project. The opportunity of bringing these two groups together is I think we'll create a built environment that is much more expressive of the human condition. You can't solve big problems unless actually you're very technically savvy but also is very sensitive to the environment and humans. I think that's the massive goal here. It's all about exploring different possibilities and we have a frame that is uh, well-being and healthcare. I think that if you broaden the idea of well-being instead of just sticking to healthcare, I think that's where you have the most benefit. First thing you think of with well-being and healthcare is helping ill people, but then there's wider than that, there's helping people from becoming ill and getting into sport and things like that. What's great is that the ideas are so diverse, which probably reflects the different disciplines involved. What is really beneficial in light touch matters is that you have a completely new kind of material that can have the light and the touch in the same material. Therefore, applications that emphasize information that you can have in a material that is responding to you, that's where there's a, a lot of great benefit. Light is the best possibility to make life more colorful and more enjoyable if applied in the right way. People are seduced to do what's good for them because of the LTM material that is reacting to how they are behaving and that is inviting them to behave. From the light perspective, this idea that objects illuminate, that's like the product talking to you through this light without being blunt in your face. The amount of expressions you can have with light, from the most subtle to the most brilliant and shocking and disturbing to most soothing, I think the palette of experiences are really, really broad and rich. It's something quite magical and to be able to choreograph that or to bring that into a solution is uh, intriguing. I would be very excited to actually see the material that I've been working on used for something helpful products into the market as designers is not just about ego, we're creating products that we think will make people's lives better. So it'd be nice to see one or two of these projects come out in some form. If this method of working together with different kind of scientists and different kind of designers can be adapted and lead on to other kind of similar projects, that will be a great success. So at the end of this project, I hope that at least both groups understand the concerns and values and what they think of aesthetically as good science or good design. Hopefully there'll be this material which embodies that.